happy Sabbath again. I just want to mention that uh, before I introduce the special guests who are in our midst, I just want to mention that, uh, you know, Jesus Christ was on, in this world and he was preaching. And he was somebody who had come, the son of God, I can say son of God, who had come to preach in this world. But at the end, nobody found anything good in him. And he was crucified for doing nothing. And at the end, even the, the people said, crucify him and let his blood be on our heads and our children. So the devil is always there to fight. Now, I was thinking about myself that even in this world, we have many devils who are even against the leadership of this institution. The same way Jesus Christ faced the same problem, we are facing a similar problem. So when you see things being written, know that the devil is at work. And we will continue until when Jesus Christ comes. So do not worry. When you see somebody, you think that maybe you are seeing a brother or a sister. But unfortunately, you could be seeing a devil. So my dear colleagues, let us live with the devils in our midst. So Jesus Christ had a similar problem. And somebody asked me, who do you think you are? If Jesus Christ could face a, this kind of situation, who are you? I am nothing. So my dear colleagues, students and friends, let us adapt with the problems that are in our midst. And that is what I just wanted to encourage you, that we will not be cowed down by the acts of the devil. If they are genuine, let them come forward and we see them. But if you are hiding behind anonymous things, then you are not genuine. So I just want to encourage you that always, wherever you are, there is a devil who is against what you are doing. You are not, even if you do the best, a devil is there who is always there to attack you. So we have been attacked by some devils, but we will continue. We thank God. Okay. You have had it, friends. A man unwilling to face his failures. According to the Vice Chancellor, our expose is the work of devils. We ask the following questions. 1. Did the devils attack Google Scholar so that it failed to reveal any paper that Philip Mayo has published? 2. Did devils prevent Professor Philip Mayo from winning a single grant? 3. Did devil somehow access the farm and assign a university worker to attend to the cows of the vice chancellor? 4. Did devils make the administrative board a couple's club? 5. Did devils inflate the, in the university construction budget by up to 500%? 6. Did devils approve contractor details for buildings being constructed and hide them somewhere in Kimondi, for instance, to ensure people don't see them? 7. Did devils lower the quality of learning at Baraton so that the average pass rate for nursing graduates is at, is at its lowest in years? You get the drift. We can go on and on. No, Mr. Vice Chancellor. Devils are powerful, but we don't think devils can instruct Google Scholar to hide your publications. We also don't think that Mr. Kosgei, who is attending to your personal cows, got his instructions from the devil. And the devil certainly did not make a baraton cow stain in yours fat. As to your qualifications, it's quite easy. Just table your report cards from class 1 to class 8, your high school report cards from form 1 to form 4, and your university scripts from undergraduate to PhD. If there's no suspicious change of name somehow, you are innocent. Here's the truth. In a functional society, Professor Mayo would not just be removed. He would be surcharged for the salaries the university has been paying a worker who he, whom he has engaged in personal businesses.
Instead, he is comparing himself to Jesus and blaming everyone instead of looking in the mirror. As Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling would say, even blaming others has an expiry date.